how's it going? Just dropped an ain't off, of course. So I tuned the pilot's one quarter turn back out because I did notice a little bit of weird shit going on. I noticed that it was kind of, well, the RPMs are lagging a little bit. So like, if you rev it and then let go, it'll kind of hold up there for a little bit. And one quarter turn out was what I was at last time and I didn't have any problems at all. It was a, what, one, one and a half turns. And then I just did an additional quarter. But I had no problems at all at one and a half. And I think I'm at a good spot now. I might possibly go out another quarter turn to go to like, what, one, 175? But I mean, I think it's... That's the only thing that sucks. Like, I, don't, I don't have a... What is it called? A, one of those exhaust testers, O2 sensors. Because I, I have no idea what I'm running at. It would be just so much easier if I had that. I hate this light so much. It would just be so much easier because then I wouldn't have to be guessing. And I could check at different RPMs. So like when they... Some like burnt shit out here. So when the cylinder... Is it the cylinder... This little cylinder flap things. Not the flaps, but the... This is irritating. This light's not gonna go. It used to pick me up sometimes, but now it's like, not even. I'm about to just go. What is the rule like? You have to wait three cycles or something? It's not picking me up, so... I'm about to just go. What is it? It's been like five, five minutes so far. I'm still here, usually there's a car. Usually there will be a car, but there's no cars. Uh, today's Thanksgiving, I think. This is stupid. I'm, I'm, a, I'm just gonna go. Stupid light. That's what I, that's what I mean. Like they need to take in consideration of like motorcyclists because if I were to just wait there, I heard from somewhere. I was watching because I watch a lot of I watch a lot of people on YouTube that study the law. One guy actually rides, so I don't remember which I don't remember who it was, but he was waiting at the light for about five minutes as well, and it just cycled through like there was traffic there. He was turning left, and then it's like no left turn on red. He had to have a light to turn. It was funny because there's this cop that was just chilling there in his car and and then he knew it too. I was like, what, what the hell? This is an obvious like police scam because I know it doesn't work, it doesn't pick up motorcycles. And so as soon as they go, then of course they're gonna pull them over. So he turned and supposedly the law is if it, if it cycles three times and nothing, then go when it's appropriate, treat it as a as a flow way, like a stop sign. So he, he went ahead and did that. The cop did pull him over, and he brought it up. And then he brought up the law. I don't even, I don't know exactly what law it was, what it was, but he knew his stuff. So, I mean, if I did get a ticket or something, I didn't get flashed back there either. If I did, then I wouldn't even reply because the cameras that flash you, they go through a third party company. It's not even through the government. So it's their word against yours. So I mean, you don't have to acknowledge that you received it. And if you don't, they can't really prosecute you. But on the co with the cop on the other hand, I mean, that's an obvious. So, I mean, if the cop did pull me over right back there, then I would have just used this, this footage as, as evidence. And that's another thing, that's another good thing, uh, another reason to get a helmet cam such instances as that. Insurance fraud, some dickhead that pulls in front of you and brake checks, and stuff like that. So today's Thanksgiving, I think. Wait, when is Thanksgiving? I don't even know what thanks what day Thanksgiving is, because it's kinda like a weird holiday. <laughs> it's really my family just makes Mexican food. And then typically you make like a turkey and stuffing and all that good stuff. I mean I like it. I'll eat I, I, I love Thanksgiving. I don't really care much about the holiday, but I love how there's food. I love food. So, I mean, that's one reason why I kind of like Thanksgiving, but other than that, it's just like kind of a pointless holiday. I mean, if you think about it,
about it. What are they even celebrating? Uh, it's kind of controversial because some would say it's celebrating the conquering of the Native Americans. And then some would say it's, it's celebrating getting together with the Natives or something. I don't know, but we all know how it turned out. So anyway, for Thanksgiving, Janine and I, we were supposed to go to her friends, but then out of nowhere, like literally last night, her mom messaged and was like, I guess they're coming out. It's kind of irritating how they don't let us know beforehand. When they're coming out, they just randomly show up at our house and they live six hours away. So it's like, it doesn't give us time to. We had to change our plans. Janine was all pissed off. I'm not really pissed, I don't really care, but I thought it was pretty inconvenient because we were getting ready. Um, her friend had the ham and the turkey and all that stuff together. Um, her and Janine got all the stuff a few days ago. So what I was making, I made some ceviche, my special recipe. The ceviche that I make is a lot different than, I guess you could say, traditional ceviche. But I don't know if it varies from different areas, but I got mine from my dad. It's probably one of the only good things I got from him. He's, he's an asshole. I make it like a thick, like a, a thicker salsa. It's a, well, to people that don't know what ceviche is, it's like a, it's like a salsa. It typically has shrimp, onions, tomato. It's like a, it's like a fresh salsa with shrimp and some other spices and stuff. Um, but the way I make it is a lot. It's thicker, more flavor. Not so. I don't like it watery like how it typically is. I like it. I like chunks of like um, guacamole, uh, like bigger shrimp. To, they usually put like the small ass shrimp in there, I don't like that. I mean, I'll eat it, but I do, I'd prefer at least the medium. Well, I like the medium size over the large, because then you gotta cut the large ones in half. So I made that last night, but I changed my recipe a little bit. And instead of shrimp, I, I got some mariscos. It's like a whole seafood medley, I guess you'd say. And it's like calamari, squid, some clams, mussels. Octopus. Is octopus the same as calamari? I thought it was, I don't know. It's got all kinds of good stuff in there. They got some big octopus chunks in there. It's like, it looks delicious. Alright, it was delicious. So then I let it, well I do all that, I, I, I did it. Janine helped me. Janine helped me a lot. We kind of split the work because it's a lot of work to make. Cutting up all the stuff. So then, we, you gotta let it, well for me, I let it, I let it soak overnight. Like soak up the juices and stuff. And, it should be done now. We got some chips from Food City, and so I'm, I'm really excited. It's kind of expensive to make it all, uh, just because it's all fresh, the fresh veg vegetables, and the, typically the shrimp, but. So I think all together it's about, um, it ranges, but it's typically 15 to $25 to make the whole thing. To make a big batch, I would say. But it's freaking delicious. And it's funny because, well, my dad makes it. I, I kind of, I changed his his recipe up a little bit. And then I found out he cheats kind of. He put some salsa in. I'm like, you gotta make it fresh. What the hell? I was gonna change it a little bit again. Uh, I was gonna add, because I had jalapeno, one jalapeno. But I was gonna change it up and add some, like, maybe three habaneros instead. Just to make it a little bit more spicy. But her friend um, doesn't eat hot stuff really. I hate that, like when, when people don't eat hot stuff. Like why don't you? I think it's because they don't grow up with it, but it just really, it's really annoying. Cause I love, I love hot food, like spicy. I love spicy food. It might, it might also be because like, if you grow up with it maybe. Cause I've heard stories about me growing up. Oh, I don't know, maybe I just like, maybe it's just in you. I don't know, maybe you don't grow up with it. I have no idea, but I guess when I was little, I used to get into the fridge and get into like the Tabasco sauce, and then I'd like drink it when I'm like three or something, two. I guess I liked it, but then when I when I like pooped, I don't know how old I was, but I was wearing a diaper. So when I went to when I pooped, I guess my ass was burning, and then I start crying, but I'd still do it. I don't know. So I mean, maybe maybe it's just in you, or I don't know. I just have the taste for spicy foods. But it's just really irritating when people don't like spicy foods, I'm like, and then they want mild. I'm like, what the hell? I think it's, it's like the same thing when people get 
I know some people are going to talk shit right now, but I don't like white bread. It's not even really nutritious. I like I like it was full of seeds. I like rye bread. I like I like all the, the specialty breads, like different kinds of breads. But white bread is I mean, that's the cheapest. Falls apart. It's not even nutritious. It's I mean you might as well not eat it unless you really love white bread. I don't know how people do. I guess people like it. Some people like it. I guess because it's like fluffy. I guess I don't know. But I mean you could get French bread and it'll be just as fluffy. Well, it looks like they put up the lights. I haven't really been down this road for a few days, so I haven't really noticed. But it's not even Thanksgiving yet, so they might, they must have just put them up like maybe yesterday, because today's I, I'm pretty sure today's Thanksgiving. It's kind of weird that I don't know the exact number of the month Thanksgiving is, but yeah, I'm pretty sure today's Thanksgiving because well Janine's part time at that job, and so she has to work holidays. Today is Wednesday, I believe. So today must be Thanksgiving. Yeah, she only works weekends. Oh, so I got her pump in the mail, and probably should. I'll probably do that tonight. I like to do it like when when it's a little bit cooler out. Lately, just because of the freaking mosquitoes. I don't know why there's still mosquitoes out. It's really ridiculous. actually really small. I was picturing it to be about the same size as my pump, but it's like insanely small and it's pretty light too. It feels very fragile, but I mean, it's a name brand, so, and I mean, if anything does happen, which hopefully nothing does happen because the fuel pump would be, that's the worst thing that can go wrong because you can't even move after that, but if something does happen, I think the worst part would be getting it back home, the bike, her bike. But we would still be able to get a refund. I wouldn't want a replacement because, I mean, if it died that quick, that just shows the quality. And I wouldn't even want to deal with that. But if it dies that quick, then I'll just go with that one other one. Was it Kemso? I thought it was Kemo or uh, Kipo or... I don't remember what I was saying, but I thought it was something else, but it was actually Kemso. It is freaking cold. 